How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every single one of you can make it. Got a box in the mail today. Who's it from? What's in it? Well, you know the process. We got to find out what is in the box. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Um, What's in the box? What's in the box? The who it's from is from Chuck over at Flying Valiant. I was, he sent me a message and I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. He said he was sending me something and he thought that I'd really like it and there's supposed to be something in here also that he sent from another great channel. I don't think they follow me or anything, but they sent it to him and said that he could do what he wanted to with it and everything. So the name of that channel is Shorter's Diecast and I'll be sure to put both links to both of their channels in the description box down there as always. Like I said, the box is from Flying Valiant. Thank you very much, Chuck. I really appreciate it. Don't know what's in it, but we're going to find out. And again, there's supposed to be something in there that he got from Shorters that he thought that I would really like and that I could get some use out of and everything. So let's see what's in it. All right, got her all cracked open. Got a, one of his famous hello cards. <laughs> hey there, Pete. Found some stuff around my workshop I thought you could use. Enjoy. Stay fresh, Chuck. Thank you so much, Chuck. I greatly appreciate that, brother. I greatly appreciate that. You know what I mean? Anything and everything. Bubble wrap, nice packaging. We'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> I can't believe he sent that. Wow. I can't believe he sent that. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Hang on there now. So you got this all bubble wrap nice. So let's see what's in it. Ooh. Ooh. Got the X-Men premium because it's got the metal base and everything. Looks like a little Nova wagon. Look at that bad boy. Holy cow. That thing is sharp right there. Look at how low it sits. Hi, dang. Right on, man. I don't think I have any Nova wagons, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. And that thing is squatted down low. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay. That's a pretty color, too. White stripes on top. That looks real sharp. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I forgot what this one is called. But it puts you in the mind of the old concept panther that the Camaro used to be called before it became the Camaro. I forgot what the actual car is called. It's not on the base. That's a sharp little car too. Like I said, the, the car was going to be the Camaro was going to be called the Panther before they came up with the actual name Camaro. I'm glad they went with Camaro. And anybody that wonders what Camaro stands for, it really doesn't stand for anything. But the, the guy, the head man at GM when the Camaro was released, is, is, he said it was a small, ferocious animal that eats Mustangs. <laughs> when he was asked, well, and I, I'm not making that up, look it up yourself. When he was asked what Camaro stands for, that's what he came up with. Ooh, that is a pretty paint job on that bad boy. So Johnny Lightning Monza. It's a short car. This was back in the days when gas crunch hit and everybody was struggling to come up with more economical cars and designs that everybody would like. You had the Monza, the Vega, the Pinto, the Mustang too, you know, all them great cars. Great cars. And last in the bubble wrap is a Corvette Stingray from Matchbox. Yeah, Matchbox. Purple in color. And I know purple doesn't come through on camera. It always comes out as blue. That's pretty cool casting right there. That's very neat. So 94 casting, so that makes it a 95. Heck yeah, man. 
Thanks, brother. And I just noticed something. Matchbox sure does make their cars a lot bigger, don't they? But uh, in in those days, because there's the Matchbox, there's the Johnny Lightning, and here's the Hot Wheels. <laughs> I just the only reason I noticed because I got them sitting here side by side. I'm like, holy moly, that Matchbox is huge compared to the other ones. All right, let's see what this one is. Ooh. I can already tell the two-tone paint job. Oh wow. It's another matchbox. It's the 57 Chevy. Made in Macau. Macau, Macau, however you want to say it. A 1979. So that makes it a 1980 version. But look at this bad boy. Woo-woo. Got the tilt hood on it and everything. Look at that thing, that is sharp. Man, yeah. I like that. Man, that thing's sharp. Thank you, man. Thank you, Chuck. I like that. Feels like you know bad. Alright, we got us a he knows me. That's all I got to do is show you. All of you know. <laughs> can never have too many of these bad boys. I got one loose now that I can take. That I don't have to worry about taking out of the pack. That I can custom or whatever I want to do with, right? Everybody knows me. Can never have too many Camaros. And we got one tied up in the bag here. Thanks, man. Those six cars right there are awesome. Thank you. And after me just saying, you can never have too many. Booyah! <laughs> 1969 convertible. This green and the blue version, they just knocked it out of the park. I think they got the wheels crossed up. I think the gold wheels need to be on the blue one. Chrome wheels on the blue one need to be over here. But the casting, the wheels, everything's just great with those. Man, yeah. No way. No way. You must have read my mind, brother, because when I do my customs and everything, I'm like, these shit, you know, and they do the best they can with what they have, but when you're sitting there, you're painting the insides, detailing the insides, you come up on that steering wheel, there's a big old hunk of plastic sitting there. And it's like, oh man, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I, you know, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. And I remember seeing these in your videos and I'm like, that's so cool. I got to get in, in, in touch with you and find out about them. And it's just, you know, you got so much going on, you completely forget. But you must have read my mind, brother. Look at that, everybody. 3D printed steering wheels. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get one out without creating a mess. I think the gray, I, black one keeps wanting to come out. I want to get a gray one because that's probably easier for you to see. Three D printed steering wheels. Look at that. All you have to do is whack off the one that's in the car. Here's a black one, just in case it shows up better. You can make a little hole in the dash and replace it, or you can just super glue it in place. Man, yeah. Thank you, Chuck. This will help me out so very much, brother. Thank you very, very much. Wow. Man, yeah. And I got another one in the bag. Two more in the bag, actually. Man, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. This is a majorette. It's a Pontiac Firebird. And that is one heck of an engine. Let me tell you what. <laughs>
that bad boy that thing is sharp I like all castings doesn't matter major yet maestro whatever man that uh, it's a bright color too isn't it and last in the bag I can't believe you sent what's down there oh my god oh it's another one number one this is number eight number eight number one white version with the red white and blue the evil Knievel tempo on the side Now here's something on the bottom it says 162 and this is number 248 so that's a 162 scale and that's this is Hot Wheels 164 scale just for comparison what number is this one this one is also number 248 color variation set specialty car I don't know but it's really cool like I said that's the evil Knievel tempo pattern there wow thanks man thank you very much I got to get me a display I got to for things like this I right, we've got some carded cars in here and then one final thing and I cannot believe that these were sent I truly can't first up is the The Batmobile from the new Batman movie, which hasn't been released yet. It's out there, the trailers are out there and everything, but it just hasn't been released in theaters yet because of the whole COVID thing. But that is actually a sharp, sharp car. Thanks, man. That's from K Case. Heck yeah. Put that right there and then like I said with the other ones can never have too many of them and I'm fixing to do a custom on one of these so keep your eyes out if you're interested in that type of stuff sharp casting that was that's the sharp casting from this I don't remember what case it was e case man has it been that long seems like it was just yesterday I was hunting for those things E case wow and I'm, I've been looking for more of these because I'm gonna do a few more customs because everybody really really liked the one that I did for Andre Cruz but we have the moon eyes bone shaker I've been looking for more of these and they just vanished from my area I need to get more of them because like I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some customs and I'm gonna offer them up for purchase or in raffles or as prizes or whatever and I've been looking for more of those and they just poof, gone like a fart in the wind <laughs> thanks brother thank you mm. and this is the pride of almost anybody's collection it's from the Pope the not Pulp Fiction what do they call it uh Anyhow, this from the Hot Wheels Boulevard. I ain't even gonna try to think of it. Pop culture. That's what I was trying to think of. Pop culture. The Moon Eyes Van. Oh, that thing is so sharp. Oh my gosh. And I so want to custom one of these. I so want to custom one. Do a special paint job and maybe put some really cool decals on it and stuff. But they're so hard to find. It's like you can't <laughs> you just can't do it oh man I mean how you gonna top the moon eyes anyway I mean how you gonna top that it's a shame that company is in Japan I mean I'm not saying anything bad about the Japanese or anything I'm just saying you would think moon eyes SoCal racing it's where it all started it'd be an American company huh? Japanese company <laughs> Thanks.
Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look at the wheels on that thing. If you've never seen the bottom of one, that's what it looks like. Huge wheels. We need product reproduction wheels just like that for gassers and stuff, don't we? So all you wheel manufacturers out there, Chuck, don't you 3D print too? Chuck? And last but not least, I remember seeing this in the video and I was like, oh my goodness. Oh. Couldn't believe it. And I now have it in my hands. Ooh, about to knock Evil Knievel off. I now have it in my hands. And it is the M2 Today's Chevrolet IROC Z Walmart exclusive Chase set of cars. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Chase set. And you can identify it because it's got the gold wheels on it. Wow. That is so sharp, man. And another way to identify it is the label right there. And it's only 700 pieces, 750 pieces made. 750. I am one of 750 very lucky people. Very lucky. Blessed, you, you might as well say. Oh my goodness. Chuck. I owe you, brother. <laughs> That's all I can say is I owe you. Wow. Yeah. What do you say? I mean, <laughs> what do you say? Because thank you is like never enough for when somebody takes the time to do something like this but man such great things you sent brother this is a fire box for sure where's the fire extinguisher everybody short as die cast be sure to check him out because he gave he sent you know chuck a few things and chuck graciously sent them to me because he knows i like camaros he knows he knows i like odd things he knows i like different things and a couple things he knew that i liked I've talked to him about this before, right? I've talked to him about that, and I made a comment on his chase set when he when he got it in the video and everything. So I was like, "Oh man!" But short as diecast and flying back. Today's mail call, generous, so generous donators. Thank you so very much, brother. Again, I'll put the link to both of them's channels in the description box. Please go check them out. Say hi. You know, that's all I'm asking. Say hi. Check out one video. Hit the, hit the thumbs up. And consider subscribing to both of them. Great, great, great channel. He does. If you're in the gas lands and learning new procedures and processes and detailing and weathering techniques and everything, he makes custom decals too. And he actually makes custom water slides. Chuck is the one that made my old man diecast uh, logo water slide decals for my for whatever I want to put it on but I have a plan in mind I'm gonna make me a a channel vehicle and I'm gonna put the logo on the side of Chuck made the water slides he makes custom water slides so if you're looking for water slides or anything else or even you know these decals hit him up really great guy he's always willing to answer any question I have and I, oh man what a great box what a great box Till next time, everybody. Thank you so very much for watching. Chuck, thank you, brother. I greatly appreciate it. And Shorter's Diecast, thank you for sending us a few things to Chuck and telling him that he could do what he wanted to with it, which allowed him to pass it on to me. So, so big thank you to you too because I wouldn't have it. I really wouldn't. Thank you. 
We'll see you in the next video.